Welcome to the topic where we highlight Houston Community College's students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm your host today. My name is Parrish Murphy. Great to be with you. You know, everyone needs a little help every now and then, and HCC has several ways for students to get extra help with their classwork. We start today's show by looking into tutoring services. Amanda Guerrero is the Director of Instructional Services, I'm sorry, Instructional Support at the HEC Academic Success Center. And she has, and we have the pleasure of having her joining us today. How are you doing today, Amanda? Hi, Paris. We're doing great today. How are you? Great. Pleasure meeting you. So before we even get started, uh, for those who have never heard of the HCC Academic Success Center, would you give us a little background on what goes on there? Yes, absolutely. So HCC has 14 academic success centers spread across um, all of HCC campuses for the most part, all of our colleges. And in the Academic Success Center, we have our lab assistants and our tutors who can assist with anything from technology questions to uh, tutoring appointments and tutoring sessions. Uh, occasionally, we have our academic coaching that takes place in the Academic Success Centers along with uh, at times when um, Dr. Warren's uh, supplemental instruction leaders need some space. Sometimes they like to come in and utilize space in the, the success centers as well. Hey, now, basically, how does the center operate? Yeah, so um, students can come in for self-study or they can come in to receive assistance. Uh, we encourage our students to call our Academic Success Center call center in advance if they're looking to schedule a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session with our tutors. Uh, the number is 713-718-8184. And basically from there, we can determine if the student would like to come in for a face-to-face -face appointment or if they would like a video conference appointment, which would be more real-time like what we're doing now. And we can accommodate either way. That is great. So now, basically, what can someone expect when they go into the center? Sure. So when a student comes into the center, they typically will sign in with their student ID number at our AccuSQL sign-in station. And the lab assistant will ask what they're coming in for and direct them either to the proper person or to one of our computers or Xerox machines or whatever resource that student might need. And they can stay as long as they would like, as long as we're open. And we're typically open Monday through uh, Thursday from 8 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. And then on Fridays from uh, 8 in the morning until 4 and Saturdays 9 to 3. Great. So you guys put in a little bit of time. That's great. We, we can take our um, we can take virtual appointments a little bit later on Tuesdays and Wednesday nights. We stay open until 10. So we take our last appointment at 9. That is great. Now, talk to me a little about the ASC workshops that you guys provide. Yeah, so um, in response to COVID, our tutors and um, leadership team had decided that we wanted to provide support in a group fashion in areas that our students were showing they needed help with the most. And some of the topics that we offer our workshops in are effective note-taking methods, plagiarism, um, the structure of an essay, uh, metacognition strategies on learn how to learn, um, overcoming math anxiety, some having to do with just general time management and stress management and how to, how to prepare for exams. Um, general things that are not necessarily content specific, but all aid in student success. Okay, great. Now, are there specific things that you guys specialize in, or do you guys just do the whole gamut of tutoring, whether it's biology or math? Do you special, is there an academic you know, focus that you guys have, or do you just cover pretty much all the subjects? We cover a lot of the HEC subjects, and you can actually see all of the topics that we cover by going to hccs.edu forward slash find a tutor. There's a link on our website as well, and that's for our tutoring schedules. So you can search um, either by college or you can leave it completely blank if you want to see all of the subjects that we offer. Um, whenever there's a demand for a topic, we try to find somebody who can assist. That's great. Now, what are your busiest times? 
It's a good question, Paris. It's a really good question. So typically Mondays through Thursdays between 9.30 and 10 are when we start to get busy and we stay busy until around three o'clock. Mm-hmm. I would Great. say about 90% of the students who come in, come in for some form of writing and some form of mathematics tutoring, even though we offer a lot of other topics. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's when we typically staff quite a few math and, and English tutors. I would say also 80% of our tutors are faculty tutors, so they're also credentialed in the topics that they teach. Well, that's good. I mean, who else to ask but the teacher, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a smart thing to do. Now, you have a lot of teachers. You have teachers that are there. What would make a kid, how do you know that a kid really needs help in tutoring? Is it just when your grades are low? Or what if you have mid-level grades and you just want to improve? Uh, you, know, you just want to improve your GPA. Yeah. I would say the majority of our students that come in are not those who are necessarily barely passing. They are students who are looking to improve their GPA. And so, you know, historically, you know, we we encourage our students not to think of tutoring as something negative, but as something that can help you just get better. Um, We really want all of our students to know that we're here to assist and, and to guide and to help you guys become independent and strong learners and hopefully teach you tools that you can take well on into your university level courses and even skills that you could take into, you know, your, your professions once you are finished with school in general. Great. Now this is, is this just exclusively for HCC students? Now I know a lot of kids that come to HCC, they're normally coming Some of them, they come to knock out their basics and then they want to go on to a university. Will you still tutor them or is this just specifically for HCC students? Parish, we wish that we we could provide more tutoring uh, to all of of Houston, but no, our tutoring is specific for HCC students. It is free of charge to HCC students. They have to have a student ID number in order to receive assistance. Um, if, If we opened it up, unfortunately, I don't think we would have enough resources to cover the demand. You'd be open 24 hours a day. Yeah. Wow. So, okay, well, great. Well, listen, before we get out of here, please, again, let me know again when you're open, the times, and quickly just kind of what you guys provide again. Yeah, sure. All right. So um, in the Academic Success Centers, um, we offer real-time, face-to-face, one-on-one tutoring and group tutoring sessions. And our Academic Success Centers, um, we have a whole listing on our website if you want to check that out. Uh, We're open uh, Monday through Uh, Thursday from eight in the morning until eight o'clock at night. And then on Tuesdays uh, and Wednesdays, we're open virtually until 10 o'clock. And then on Fridays, we're open uh, at the centers from nine in the morning until four. And then on Saturdays from nine to three. That is awesome. Her name is Amanda Guerrero, Director of Instructional Support for the HEC Academic Success Center. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure meeting you, Amanda. It was a pleasure meeting you too. And thank you for having us. We look forward to, to helping all of all of you who are watching today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We look forward to having you back too. Don't be a stranger. Thanks. Great. Thanks again, Amanda. When we come back, we learn how to academically help someone anywhere they happen to be in just a bit. Stay tuned. Sometimes what you need just shows up. Houston Community College has your back. Whether you're knocking out some basics or up in your game for a better job, enroll today for spring classes and frame your future with HCC. For more than a year, we have kept you informed with more than 500 remote episodes. But now we're back, bigger and better, with more news and more guests. Join us live every weekday at 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube and on HCC TV at noon and 5 p.m. You can watch from anywhere. We go where you go. Welcome back to the topic. We're talking today about getting extra academic help. 
We're joined today by Alex Kanakis. He is manager of Upswing, our online asynchronous, that's my new word for the day, asynchronous tutoring system. Alex, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. How about you? Great. This is my new word for the day, asynchronous. Please tell me, yes. what is asynchronous tutoring? Asynchronous basically means it's not real time. Um, it means that it is tutoring that is done offline, to use a better word. Um, Upswing is a very uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, platform. The um, platform is, was designed uh, by uh, a group called Ask Online, which is now uh, was now bought by Upswing. And um, asynchronous basically means that students upload their assignment and uh, when uh, the uh, assignment is done, it is sent back to the student. It's all done um, uh, without uh, any face-to-face uh, -face or any real-time interaction. Hmm, no personalization. No. Gotcha. Okay. All right. That, that was my new word for the day. I just wanted to know the definition in case I have to use it in a sentence <laughs> later today. Now, tell us a little bit about the history of Upswing. Um, the history itself is quite fascinating. The, uh, shall we say, the godmother of online tutoring was my boss, the late Deborah Hardwick. And it was her idea to have um, our tutors using um, web-based technology to assist students first in classes such as uh, freshman composition and English as a second language. Um, but... Um, also, uh, as the platform grew, it became um, a lot more uh, in-depth. We started uh, tutoring STEM. We started tutoring um, different humanities. Uh, we started tutoring um, uh, nursing. So as the, as the college has grown, um, so has our tutoring. Great. Okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. good. And then, and then I guess online helps a lot if, you know, it helps a lot if you have transportation issues and things like that. So that, that's great that we actually provide Correct. that. Now Correct. tell us just in general, the parameters of basically what you do and what you guys don't do. Okay. Um, basically what we don't do is we don't do the work for the students. Uh, we, uh, basically point out to the student areas that need to be corrected. Um, if they're having a problem with some kind of STEM equation, whether it's a physics calculation or whether it's uh, um, a chemistry equation, the tutor will basically work a similar problem for the students. And then um, the, uh, the student will uh, copy pretty much the methodology of that similar equation for the student. When it comes to papers, say, like in the humanities field, history, philosophy, government, whatever, um, the tutor will ask specific pointed questions. You know, are you sure this data is correct? Um, expand more on this topic because maybe the reader is not familiar with it. Uh, and again, then again, with uh, just the regular English papers, we point out spelling, grammar, and punctuation errors that, that we don't correct, but we point out to the student this needs to be fixed. Okay, good. Now, mm -hmm. how exactly do you log in and get started? It's very easy. You go to hccs.upswing.io, and the uh, login basically is the student's HCC email address, and the password is their email password. It's as simple as that. Uh, they're already in the system if they've got a, uh, a W number uh, or an Eagle ID. Uh, once they log in, uh, they're taken straight to the student-facing portal where they can upload their assignment. And uh, we have a, a methodology in place to make sure that all the boxes are ticked and all the fields are filled in. So that way, in case it's not, then the student will realize that they have an incomplete assignment. Um, right now, we have about a 36, 40 hour, 48 hour turnaround time. Okay, great. Now, what will students see when they first log into the homepage? Well, when they first get to the homepage, they see, of course, the login see, uh, screen, but they also have the ability to look at an instructional 10-minute video at the very bottom of the page. 
So if they're not familiar with the platform, they can watch it and they can understand how to upload an assignment, uh, what uh, we do and don't do, and uh, you know any uh, questions that they might have uh, regarding online tutoring. We also have a link to uh, the HCC Library Resource Guides, and it is shot full of information. Um, everything from plagiarism to chat GPT to uh, how do I do a resume? Okay, and once they log in with their W number and their password, they're taken straight to the student side of the tutoring platform, and it just basically has you know, one button that says, what can we help you with today? And they click it. Right. Now, what is the, now, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, um, <laughs> I don't want to say old, I'm a little um, mature. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I, I, used, I used to have to catch, the, I grew up in this town. I used to have to catch the bus downtown to the library, right. you know, and now those things have totally changed with the advent of the internet. How effective is the library and how do they use that as a, as a tool? It's very effective. Um, we link directly into the HCC library system and uh, students can download um, informational uh, handouts on, let's say, APA or MLA format. Um, they can access YouTube videos um, of TED Talks. They can also um, look at the Purdue OWL links, which are really, really uh, invaluable in terms of helping students um, formulate uh, a, a cohesive essay or paper. Okay, that's great. So, do you guys do you guys cover all subjects? If it's taught at HCC, we will tutor it. Awesome. So, if I was in a television uh, production class, if I were in a film script writing class, or mm -hmm. if I was just taking just a, a a tough biology class you guys could could accommodate me right if it's a if it's a paper or if it's a uh a term project or anything like that we will look at it for both content and grammar um, of course uh, we also have dedicated cues for specific uh, uh subjects that we do get a lot of volume in for example uh what used to be called freshman success but is now called student success we have a dedicated cue for that uh, we have dedicated cues for uh, all STEM subjects, including chemistry, physics, and all levels of math. Um, if you are taking a radio or television uh, course, uh, at one time we did have an active performing arts cue. Unfortunately, because of volume, you know, or lack thereof, we don't have it anymore. But if you do submit a paper like that, we will review it for uh, spelling, grammar, and punctuation. That is awesome. Now, right before we go, can you give us the information again on how they can log on? Yes. Go to hccs.upswing.io. And what I would recommend students do is before they do anything, scroll to the very bottom and uh, watch the 10 minute video so you can become familiar with the platform and what we do and how we do it. And then they log in with their W number and their HCC email password. Awesome. He is Alex Kanakis, manager of the Upswing, our asynchronous. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Asynchronous that right? system. We're Thanks for joining us, Alex. I love a new word. Thank you. Here. I like learning words, Alex. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And we're always open 24-7, uh, 365, even during breaks. So we're always here. That is great. Thank you for all your information, Alex. My pleasure. Maybe get on the show. I want to do this show again and make sure that students actually are on point with everything, all the tools that they have here at HCC. Thank you again, Alex. No problem. All right. Now, when we return, we will find out how you get extra help in those foundational classes. Stay tuned. Sometimes what you need just shows up. Houston Community College has your back. Whether you're knocking out some basics or upping your game for a better job, enroll today for spring classes and frame your future with HCC. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. 
And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes, through all of the strangeness. I'm going through changes now. Welcome back to the topic. Today, we're looking at ways HCC supports student learning. Some classes form the foundation of every class that comes after, and HCC has a game plan for helping students to get the most out of those courses. We're here with Dr. Pauline Warren. She joins us today to talk about supplemental instruction. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And thank you for having me and giving uh, supplemental instruction this opportunity to talk to you today. Oh, absolutely. We're all about making sure that we promote everything good that we have at the college and just making sure that in, in informing people, because, you know, we do so many great things, Dr. Pauline, that everybody doesn't know, you know, and if we don't tell them, you know, they won't know. So this is a great, this is a great, great show. And I'm glad that we're talking about different facets of, you know, of ways that we can help students. That's a great thing. So tell me a little bit about supplemental instruction. Well, supplemental instruction is often referred to as SI. Um, it's an academic support system that uses peer assisted study sessions to improve student success and retention in historically difficult to pass courses. Um, in our, we have trained a supplemental instruction leaders who we call as I leaders and in those sessions, uh, students work collaboratively through discussion of reading and other assignments. Uh, they learn how to take notes, uh, to share notes, develop organizational uh, and study skills, and, uh, and they uh, prepare for exams and learn to predict what might be on an exam. Um, it's very important that as a, for our uh, people to know that uh, SI is provided for all uh, students in uh, course sections uh, who want to acquire effective learning strategies and develop an understanding of difficult courses, uh, difficult material, and to improve their grades. Attendance is voluntary. Uh, it's not viewed as remedial, but once again, for all students. Great. Now, Dr. Warren, mm -hmm. what courses do the supplemental instruction utilize? Are there specific courses or does it pretty much cover the whole gamut of everything? Well, you know, it's really uh, supplemental instruction was uh, designed to help those historically difficult to pass courses. But we have expanded our um, our opportunities uh, to support students in uh, in other courses. But we do, of course, support the natural and physical sciences and mathematics. That's where we have the larger percentage of SI leaders, and so we support classes like uh, biology, chemistry, anatomy and physiology, uh, physics, uh, algebra, calculus, and uh, we're also so now uh, serving some developmental courses uh, that are tied to our co-requisite uh, initiative. Um, English, English Composition and Rhetoric, English 1301 and 2, and a few literature courses. Also history, um, where we have high failure rates uh, in these courses, English, uh, mainly history 1301 and 1302. But we have uh, grown outward into computer science and business, uh, some art courses, um, Wherever we go, oh, and American Sign Language, uh, which I am intrigued with, um, but that is one of the courses that I would never have thought about having SI in, and, uh, and that has taken me in so many different directions, observing how our SI leaders in American Sign Language help some students who have hearing and others who are not hearing students. And uh, it's a wonderful program. That's great. Now, where is supplemental instruction available? 
It is available on all of our campuses at HCC, and it's uh, held, uh, sessions are held in academic success and learning centers, sometimes in our libraries, and often in our classrooms and online. Great. Now, what delivery formats are used to conduct SI sessions? Um, our um, supplemental instruction leaders uh, deliver sessions through Zoom, through um, Microsoft Teams, through WebEx, um, and also in person. And they deliver hybrid as well as online and in-person sessions. But this allows um, our SI leaders to serve students more effectively. And serving our students online allows students who are not always able to come to um, an in-person session to participate. Okay, great. Now, what are some of the benefits of supplemental instruction for students as well as for the SI leaders and faculty and, of course, the entire institution? Well, students who attend um, SI sessions discover appropriate learning strategies such as note taking, graphic organization, questioning techniques, vocabulary acquisition, problem solving, and test preparation uh, and our data at HCC and at the Department of Education shows that students who attend SI sessions earn higher grades uh, than students who do not. Students also experience increased persistence and completion rates and um, they participate in active collaborative learning in an environment that creates a sense of community um, and belonging and that causes students to feel more like they're part of the college community. Um, the students who attend SI sessions demonstrate increased ability uh, in study skills and test takings and they develop uh, transferable skills uh, as they move on to careers and to other institutions. Uh, they, they become more confident of themselves and engage faculty That's at great. a greater yeah. level. I learned a long time ago, you got to learn how to learn. <laughs> you, do. Uh, you do. And our SI leaders themselves are students. They're students who have earned an A or a high B in a course and, uh, and are able to mentor and help other students. And so they learn better communication skills. Um, they become very sensitive to cultural competency, for instance, and uh, are active in their listening skills with sensitivity to the impact of culture on communication. Uh, they learn leadership skills. They come out just, uh, it's wonderful to see some of our SI leaders who come in so shy, you think, oh gosh, can she, can he do this? And uh, they, they grow in their confidence and they learn to love what they're doing, and they learn planning and teaching skills. Um, so it's wonderful to watch them grow. And of course, they meet with faculty regularly, and faculty uh, benefit because they have better prepared students, um, students with higher pass rates, retention rates, and uh, students who are more engaged and responsible for their own learning. Um, I think the benefits to the institution are so, um, I think, obvious, but a higher, we know that a higher persistence and pass rate leads to increased student success, higher graduation rates, uh, transfer rates, and I really um, see that SI contributes to um, HCC's mission and vision of providing a more equitable and quality education to our students, right. and um, and also that is great. Apologies. Thank you so much. I, I apologize for cutting you off, Dr. Pauline. We're running out of time. I want to thank you. Her name is Dr. Pauline Warren. Thanks so much for all the great information about supplemental instruction. And please, we got to have you back on the show. Please I come back. Come back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Pauline. Thank you. And that will do it for the topic. Thank you for joining us on the topic. For more information on all the stuff that we covered, please visit hccs.edu slash podcast. Once again, that's hccs.edu slash podcast. We know you have other alternatives in your viewing pleasure. We are truly honored that you chose us here at The Topic. For The Topic on HCC TV and all of the great people that helped put this show together, I'm Parrish Murphy. Take care.